Welcome back, CA. This is episode two of the Lit Kit. What to expect for the OSSLT. One of the most important things to remember is that the Ontario Literacy Test is a requirement for graduation. Along with 30 credits and 40 hours of community service, students are required to pass the OSSLT as well. How can we be more successful? Well, let's start with some basic things to bring with us. Pens and pencils to write the test on the day of. Also bring along a highlighter. That could be useful for any important information. A positive attitude. You can achieve, and that's something that'll keep you focused. The night before, remember to get a good night's rest, and to have a good breakfast the morning of, because you're going to need your energy. The literacy test is two booklets and two answer booklets. In total, you're going to have two and a half hours of testing, broken down into two 75-minute periods. But don't forget, within the 75 minutes, you have to transfer your answers into the answer booklets, or else nothing will be marked. In June, you will receive an individual report stating whether or not you were successful. What if you need some additional help? No problem, that's what we're here for. One of the things you can do to sign up for Cardinal Ambrosic's after-school literacy prep courses. You can visit ilc.org to try practice tests. EQAO.com, who runs the OSSLT, is a great website that can help you out. Let's check it out here. This is the EQAO website. We click on English, and here we can find a lot of resources for educators, parents, and yourselves, students. So we click on the red for students, and here are a lot of links. Let's choose secondary school literacy test. And here's information about when the test will occur, about the assessment. Examples of the assessment and scoring materials are often very handy things to look at. Here's some booklets and scoring guides. And then you can go through and look at the questions, look at the answers. You can check some of the test questions from here. You can see some of the options, what it will look like, the formatting. You can look at the answer booklet as well to understand what you might see when it's your turn to write. Here's the multiple choice. These are the lines you're provided with for open response. You can also look at the test in any of these alternate formats and take a look at some of the rubrics and sample responses. You can see how students have done well and where they might have fallen behind. EQAO has an excellent website for you. Be sure to check it out. What else can you do? Approach any of your CA staff. We're here to help. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at CA Lit Kit, follow at Cardinal Ambro on Twitter, or visit the CA website. Don't forget to head over to the literacy page. Stay tuned for more episodes that will help you practice some of the most important features of the literacy test.